Yo, 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 yo. Yeah, Mookie. And we back. Well, now we actually do that. Mookie, yo, hold on, shorty. Yeah, yeah, come up in the grades, baby. <laughs> now, Mookie, yo, good, good people had great early, yo. Huh? People good had great early. You can tell yourself whatever you want to tell yourself, look, bro. Well, I'm about to say, you look, getting there. Like I was saying, <laughs> <laughs> look, yo, everybody in the comment section been saying, uh, react to this dude, Doc. And remember, you know, we react to like his 10 knockouts. So mm-hmm. we ain't really react to like a personal background, him and all that, bro. And I had to look it up. Guess who did it? Your man, Joey V. Oh. Doing it, your man Joey V got a documentary. You feel me on y'all? I said, All right, that's dope. He just dropped a dope one not too long ago, too. All right, back. Look, yo, if y'all new to the channel, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. Mookie, yeah, I'm not even gonna hold you too long. Let's see what my man talking about the monster. Anyway, I'm predicting What's now that? that he's gonna fight Tank. Everybody saying he not. He's going to fight Tank. Everybody saying they not the uh, same weight class, bro. It's only a couple pounds, bro. Trust me. It's only a couple pounds. All right, bro. <laughs> Let me make sure the volume, boy. Yo. All right, we good. Let's lock in, boy. Vaguely familiar with Inoue, and I heard, I heard obviously he's been on a tear, but I hadn't seen uh, uh, any of his fights since. Man, now I'm mad at myself. Naoya Inoue. The monster. Bing. I want to go back Good and watch night. all his fights. <laughs> yes, sir. I like this kid. You know what? I really do, bro. What'd you say, bro? I like this dude, boy. He a beat show. Really do, bro. Yeah. And he just seemed he just seemed humble to me, bro. Right. For real. He's just not all flashy in America. All these boxes is just all flashy. He ain't with none of that. He don't sing none of that. He chill. He in Asia. Everything is just relaxed. I'm going to Asia, man. <laughs> the pride of Japan. A generational talent. He was raised in Zama, Kanagawa, Japan. Mm. From Japan, bro. Asia is a continent. Japan is a country. In a way, began boxing at age five trained by his father a former amateur boxer from his earliest fights it was clear he possessed incredible natural talent he is a badass little dude i was so thoroughly impressed in a way turned pro at 19. Mm -hmm. He made it clear he wanted no tune-up fights. No way. All concentration, all business. It's amazing his ah. accuracy. Look to God. Good night. Hey, well, he throws a punch man. He don't miss. Mm. He wanted to contend for titles as quickly as possible. Oh! Oh! Hey! Hey! Mm. Oh, body shot. Crumbled him with a body shot. Yeah, he ain't paying. He ain't getting up. You win. <laughs> Despite Perfect. turning pro at the young age of 19, in a way, it built quite an impressive amateur record, racking up 75 wins. Mm-hmm. with 48 knockouts. Oh. He even had opponents check his gloves after fights. <laughs> unable. <laughs> well, that's how you know. That's like no no, but that's a real thing, bro. What? Uh Antonio Margarito, I, I'm hoping I'm saying his name right. Bro, he used to put plaster in his gloves, bro. He used to put plaster in inside of his gloves, over his hands and his gloves. Mm. So when he would punch you, it was like getting hit by a brick. Oh, he cheating, bro. He cheating. But guess what? Pacquiao took him apart. Well, I'm about to say, bro. But don't that still hurt your hands? 
No, you, you got to think under that boxing gloves, their hands are are, are, right. are wrapped with you know with cotton and mm. s- certain other things, you right. know, and tape and all of that. So they have a layer over their bare hand, and mm. then the boxing glove is another layer. You know okay. what I'm saying? Hey, that's crazy. So main man was knocking people out so bad they had to check your gloves. Mm-hmm. That's wild. He was able to comprehend such power from in a way. <laughs> In a way, it's said, it isn't his power. It's his speed and placement. Ooh, good. Like Partnered you. with perfect timing. Whoa, perfect timing. How, as a man, like, that small, it's not as if he's got, like, big arms and these big belt. Oh! Knocking someone out cold like that, and it just shows you that it's just all about the timing. In a way, next fought the former Thai national champion. Perfect counter left hook, reminiscent of the oh. great Sugar Ray Good. Robinson. Oh! <laughs> shorty, shorty bounce around a lot oh, too. Yeah, yeah, yeah that like, footwork is, yeah. is excellent, man. Shorty be bouncing. They, they got some fighters over there in Asia, babe. I'm trying to tell you. <laughs> but when you run into an absolute force, and you talk about that power, this guy's Fukushima. He is radioactive. You see why he's called the monster? When a guy has fast hands, a good jab, oh, I have real punching power, and then he energetically applies all those things. Oh. It's, it's a nightmare for the opponent. Uh, yes, they call Inui the monster, and a monster he is. Mm, 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 mm. But it's going to take a hell of a fight yeah, to stop yeah, this yeah, man. In a way, had captured the Japanese light flyweight title. Do you dream in neon? MoneyGram is giving away an all-access VIP race weekend experience. In a way, with startling record of getting things done quickly. He immediately moved on to contend for the Oriental and Pacific boxing title. I wouldn't go anywhere ah. right now. The guy's a terror. He's a he's a terror. He is an absolute terror. Mm. 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 <laughs> <laughs> A series of left hooks and a relentless Lord jab. Lord first. It's over. Put him away. Now he, in a way, appears to be everything that we were told he would be. Each time out, in a way's father was adding new wrinkles to the monster's strategy. Let's start first of all. Something that was mentioned at the press conference: your father is your trainer. Bringing him along as a father. That's what I was about to say, yo. I, mean, I love it. I mean, when you think about it, like, it's been so many great fighters that their father's been their trainer. Yeah, and no, that's what I've seen uh, off of these documentaries we've been watching, yeah. bro. Like, these dudes most most likely came up about their fathers, bro. And it's crazy because their fathers would be, want to be as famous as their kids. Yeah, it, it'll be like, kind of like, you know, Dell and Steph Curry. Right. Uh huh. Roy Jones' father brought him up, mm. and you see what he turned out to be. Floyd Mayweather' father right. was his trainer. Khabib' father. Khabib and his father, mm. yeah. So that's you crazy, got some good, yo. some that's good dads dope, yo. out there. Yeah. So shout out to the fathers that's actually taking shout the out steps. To his dads, man. Yeah. That's dope, bro. Fighter. Father is your trainer. Bringing him along as a fighter. Instead of leaning only on his son's strengths. <laughs> Inouye hails from humble beginnings, training in his tiny home, and utilizing makeshift equipment. Oh yeah. His father standing by his son every leg of the journey. His skills were honed the traditional way. Ah! With emphasis on fundamentals and footwork. Talk about the monster from Japan. You've had what giant stuff. robots, like the Kill Bill Godzilla, steps, and now man. Loch Ness and New Way. <laughs> that hog 
hardcore training, yes, boy. Sir. Yes, sir. <laughs> That's the that's the trade that you see in movies. Yeah, Creed. You know? Yeah, the second Creed. The third one. <laughs> With Western boxers, it's become common for top guys to wait 20 or 30 fights before they contend for a title. Japanese boxers are expected to contend for a title in their first 10 pro fights. Mm, that's how they do it over there on the East. In his sixth fight, he took a shot at the WBC light flyweight world title. Ah. It's balanced. Shorty hit hard. Yeah. Woo! He seems to always to be in the right position on his feet, and he throws when he wants to. Just when uh. you think you've got the timing down against him, it will open up with something different. Precision, power, speed, everything. Uh. Every punch that he throws has so much power in it and so much spike. He is a dangerous fighter. It may call four, five, six, Bang! 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 He possessed X-Men like power and speed. In just his 36th round of professional boxing. What a... In a way, had captured a world title. The quickest a Japanese fighter has ever done it. The monster was fast becoming must see TV. Absolutely. Uh, absolutely. Take a look at his rare achievements. He won a title at 108. He's considered the best guy at 108. Well, another thing I, I see every great fighter has to make his way through maybe a dozen Hispanic fighters. Right. Because it's saying like all Mexico, Cuba, Panama, Dominican Republic, Puerto Rico, yo, they just birth fighters, bro. Right. And if you can make it through them, then you made it. They are, he undefeated now, Mookie? Yes, he is. Yes, he is. He oh ain't never God. lost. For real. He beat the brakes off that black dude. <laughs> 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 Look, another is that a Spanish fighter? Look like a donut. Nah, I think he just had. Really does double up well, well to the hooks to the head and the body in a way. Mm, 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 mm. My goodness. Uh, let me show the mic still on, yo. Yo. There we go, Sean. So you fear the worst. That's what we did fear in Nui. We knew was gonna start fast. He come flying out. He didn't take long to move up and wait to pursue the super flyweight title against champion Omar Narvaez. Moving up. I'll tell you. Light flyweight. 48.9 kilograms to 52.1 kilograms. Argentinian and longtime titleist Omar Narvaez. Narvaez had only one defeat in 46 fights. Against Omar Narvaez, who, by the way, in over 45 fights coming into that fight, had only lost once. Hey! No way, wow. good. Made him look like a. They don't really realize how strong he really is, bro. Yeah, well, he is strong. No, I'm saying, I say, it seems like his opponents, most of the time they come to him with a block. You feel me? Instantly. It's called it's a god, bro. Well, blocking and a god is actually like the same thing. Not actually the same thing. Blocking. I'm just trying to educate you, bro. I'm just, oh, I'm just, I'm like just, by, I guess boxing education. But I'm just saying, they come to him, they block it. Okay. And once they believe, <laughs> they come to him, they guard it up. I don't even know. Okay. I don't even sound right, like right, right. They come with their hands up. Just yeah. stay with their hands up. <laughs> they come to him like that. And once he start hitting them, they, they just like, it just get like frail for yeah, real. Yeah, like, yeah. But he's ever, breaking a god, though. He, that's what I'm saying. He's breaking that and gun. They be like, and once they start to throw punches, it seems like it's a little bit weaker because mm -hmm. they didn't really realize how strong he was. Right. A journeyman. Oh! Me. That was veteran skills from the way. He noticed that Narvaez was coming closer, so he gave him a little bit more space to come in, uncork that left hook. Scoring four knockdowns and a second round KO. Mm -mm -mm. Look at that body shot. Uh. Oh, he got a 
another oh. sledgehammer left hook to the body. It was a historic win take for that. Inoue, es una máquina mortal, you know. who was now the fastest fighter in history to capture two world titles. Mm -hmm. He embraced his father in the center of the ring. Building himself up even as he knocks down champion after champion, two titles, eight professional fights. <laughs> Thankfully, at least in the case of Inoue, if they didn't have a clue who he was before, they mm. certainly do now. Oh. In a way's knockout mm. power has Goodness. forged the legend of a monster, even when sparring. <laughs> he defended his title seven times after capturing it. Mm, that's good. Bye. From Inoue's maybe third pro fight, it was obvious he was going to get to the top of at least one division. He's already been to the top of two. Oh, not good. Hey! With a fearsome left-right combination from the mm. man nicknamed the monster. Knockout after knockout. Oh! Dang! This dude is dominating world class opposition like nobody's business. Mm, 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 mm. Oh, we have to watch every single second of this. Yeah, I think so. <laughs> it could be over on a fly share. Dang! But he creates so much torque with his punches. He like, it's like a whip. Woo! Mm, 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 mm. Yo, not dudes out like yo, Mike, yo. It ain't nothing. Yes, sir. It was time for Inouye to take his career to the next step. The monster was coming to America. Uh oh! oh no. America. <laughs> His debut stateside was highly anticipated. I think Anui is probably the best fighter I've ever seen live. Inouye is a special kind of talent. The WBC, light flyweight, champion of the world, the creating and defending undefeated WBO, super flyweight, champion of the world. And that's what tonight is about. Here is the introduction to the monster. Monster in no the boxing world has their eyes peeled yeah, right now on this fight. Because in no way, those who have seen him and followed him have been saying such glowing things. Rumors of the Japanese monster had preceded in a way. I was just gonna say he's also he can also box. And he's very fundamentally sound. So yeah, he's he's got it all. You he's know, got, I wonder what the ceiling is. There you go. There you go. Right hand by in a way drives me at his back. It's a heavy jab, meaning his his weight comes out over his front foot. Oh. His sensational internet highlights had done the job of myth making. This kid looks like he's something special next level. And now. It was time to give the people oh. what they wanted. So I'm going to give the audience what I think they want. Mm. Body shots. Yep, there it is. Body this shot. is just a brilliant round. This this was a one-sided pile driving around, and he has made the decision. His opponent quit between rounds. I would have too. So it'll be a technical knockout at the end of round six. And we were how you think that conversation is when you just don't come back out there like like for the coaches? Like uh, what is you telling your your your, your dude, yo? 
Look, man. <laughs> Every dog has his day. <laughs> it just wasn't my day to day. My hat's off to the Japanese king. <laughs> <laughs> Told to expect something special. That was quite a show. Inoue would step up and wait to contend for the WBA bantamweight title. Is that a true story that you, you didn't know who he was? Was it you didn't know who he was? I didn't. I still don't even know his. I can't pronounce his first name. I just call him Inoue, yeah. It's not, you know, I'm big, I'm strong, I'm not a banger, um, and I think, you know, I think I beat him easy. McDonald's in the way to come out quick, to come out firing. Oh. His legs seem a little bit shaky here, a minute and a half. In the way. No, me now. This is a fist in salute to the crowd at ringside. Has jumped in away. I bet you know his name, don't you, mate? Inside the first round, <laughs> Donald. You know his name now, don't you, mate? All of whom had never previously been stopped in their careers. This is our first quarterfinal matchup in the Bantamweight Tournament. Inoue took part in the World Boxing Super Series Tournament with a chance to unify the flyweight. So here we go then. Oh, that's the wound. And what's crazy, he was going up against his tough Puerto Rican undefeated. In a way, from Japan in the sparkling shorts of Rebus. Oh, big shot to the bottle, in a way. 88% knockout ratio. Rodriguez never off his feet. No. Oh. His feet. First round? I don't know if it was the first round, but it sure looked pretty. <laughs> He'll take the eight count in the corner right above us. He's ready to go again, is Rodriguez. Here comes in away. Oh. Ah! Body shot. Oh. Oh, what a shot. Rodriguez, surely he won't take much more than that. It's over. Michael Alexander waves it off in the second. This is the sixth consecutive opponent that prior or after facing anyway had never been KO. Yeah. Never been KO. A destructive fighter who will remain the best pound for pound fighter in the business right now. Against four weight world champion Nonito Donaire. You're somebody who has won world titles very early in your career. Is this your toughest fight? A four division world champion, Nonito Donaire. 12 rounds. WBA Super and IDF back to the Titans on the line. <laughs> that boy don't play no game. It is billed as the monster versus the legend. That is exactly what it is. An eight time four division champion on your screen. And I'm looking at the ring, bro. Did they just go back to the same place, or was he fighting consecutively? But because the ring, these last two fights, the ring stayed the same. That same black tarmac and all that crazy stuff. But I don't know. Maybe I'm just thinking too hard. I got a question too. By him winning the championships over there in Japan, mm -hmm. when he come to America, is his belt stripped? No, absolutely not. So, but say if somebody wanted to fight him for the contender, that he would have to fly back to Japan. No, they'll meet up at a certain location. Oh, for real? They oh. both gonna come back. I'm like, asking. But he, like, he might lose his belt when he moves up in weight. Mm. Then he left that division, and he's mm. fighting the, even even if he's a champion in that division. Right. He'll relinquish the the belt that way. You okay. know what I'm saying? Only he didn't lose or anything like that. But not he, lose, but. Only reason I'm saying because sometimes in different countries it's strict rules. Uh -huh. So that's why I was asking that. Right. 
In a way, would be hey. tested in the hardest fight of his just career. Started, hey. Both men brought their all. Just the ones that today. In the second round, Inouye got caught by a vicious left hook. On the chin. Short left hook. It was later revealed he had sustained an orbital fracture. It would oh, be man. a huge upset, but will this man face adversity? He hasn't yet seen in his career. It's just the experience of the air. Forget the fact for a second that he knows the four way world champion. The experience that he's gathered in you know the 45 fights that he's had no doubt for Inoue he is happy to go to places so far that he hasn't been before but in a way pressed on good stuff the short left hook went in and again just as we were saying one shot can change the pattern of a fight it did exactly that oh him. Oh, that boy fighting. Oh, Lord. Help me, help me, please. Good stuff from Dene, really showing his experience in class. Oh, yeah, he could. He might, ne might never have seen someone who is this, who has this blend of yeah, skills. That's a tough fight right here, man. Oh, that goes. Woo! Yeah, he had to hold him after that. Oh! With a this little this oh. <laughs> shorty tough, yo. Shorty won it all. Oh, he been hitting with some boys. Oh, broken my orbital. God. With a broken orbital bone, the match points being razor thin, and all the titles on the line. Hey! Hey! Can box out for doesn't do so very often. This is the old brand now, really get behind him. Body shot. It's hurt, it's not the room with the red score. Body shot. <laughs> that was a lovely left to the body, Chris. In a way, drop Donair. Don't save him, ref. <laughs> ref, don't ref save him. Like, hold on, <laughs> Hold on, <laughs> man. With a <laughs> devastating body shot. Denaire made it to his feet, but the knockdown would prove to be the difference maker on the scorecards. Oh, um, good! Amazing, and hats off to both guys. Fantastic stuff. Right, go toe to toe to the front. I was shaking his hand, too. Inouye had survived his toughest test. And in doing so, he had won the WBS Super Series Tournament. The fight was named Fight like of the Cup. Year Yo. by Ring Magazine. The resume and the, and the, and the level of dot. Nobody brings it home like Joe Vincent. Ah! He, he, he on the radar, yo. He's on the radar. Shorty tough, it's yo. It's him, Devin Haney, uh, Shakur Stevenson, and Tank. They the, the guys, the lighter guys uh, that's running it right now. It's them four. Okay. Who did, who and it's did. another dude that's coming up. I think his name is uh, Keyshawn Davis. He's from Virginia. Okay. He, he, he coming up. Well, I'm about to say, so that last fight basically was the first fight that we see him face adversity. Yes, Lord. Bro, he was battling, bro. Yes, he was. He was battling. I like, and the thing about it is, besides Mike Tyson that I say, he the first fight I say that about to get knocked out that go in for more. Mm -hmm. Usually when you get knocked out, you back away, right? Or you try to grab him. I, mean, you, I can understand you trying to clinch him and everything yeah. like that to gather yourself. Yeah, yeah. Get, get back right. <laughs> yeah, but you don't ever, you know, back away. Not you, back away, but you, hold up. All right, let me get my son together. Jamel Crawford, I mean, Charlo just did when he fought My man Canelo. Floyd Mayweather do that. When he, when he got knocked down, he almost hit, he hit a knee like, hold up. He was yeah. he, he moved a little fast. <laughs> Boy, you put feel? them skates on and start moonwalking. <laughs> my, my, no my, my man, my man right here, he went back in for the kill. Hi-ya, hi-ya, hi-ya. 
Trump. Overall, the video, bro, what you think? I mean, I always knew he was a good fighter. I've been talking about this dude for the last two years, man. Right. These guys did not know who he was, man. I'm telling you, they did not know who he was. I'm in barbershops. I'm at work. Right. I'm everywhere <laughs> talking about this Japanese kid, man. They looking like, what are you talking about? I'm like, they, they call him monster. They call him monster. <laughs> I'm telling him. I said, yo, he, I want him to fight Tank. Right. I want him to fight Tank. <laughs> It'd be a he good goes, fight, yo. What? Because that China, that, uh, I was going to call him Chinese, Lord have mercy. Because the Japanese boy, he going to give Tank everything. He, he hit hard. And people were like, listen, man, Tank hit harder. Tank do this and Tank do that. It's going to be a good fight. Bro. Oh, multi, man. multi, multi million dollar fight. This was a uh, great documentary. I'm glad we uh, we dived a little bit more deep into this dude, man. Now I'm more interested in this guy, man. Oh, he on the scene now. Everybody know him now. But I've been talking about him for two years. <laughs> Look, man, if y'all new to the channel, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. We yes, love y'all. We appreciate y'all. I'm Nick Dust. And I'm Mookie Dust. And we out, baby. What?